Donkey Kong is ready to monkey around with today's game, Hangman for your Atari 2600. And I really like this 70s style box art. Let's see. We got a sun and a fish that are rising out, out of the bushes and a tiny triceratops. How cute. Let's go ahead and take Hangman. Let's pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Hangman was published by Atari and carries a copyright year of 1978. It was also released under the Sears Telegames label as Spelling. It was programmed by Alan Miller, who would later become the co-founder of both Activision and Accolade. He also programmed one of my favorite games on the system, Ice Hockey, which I reviewed in episode 319. I'll put a link to that review in the description below. The manual opens with the following. Don't let this game make a monkey out of you when you test your word skill. The action begins after you press the reset switch on the console. Line spaces appear at the bottom of the screen. One space equals one letter of the hangman word. If there are six spaces, for example, the hangman word could be luxury. Hangman turns the classic pen and paper game into a video game for one or two players who alternate turns guessing letters. The goal of the game is to guess the mystery word before incorrectly picking 11 letters. To guess a letter, you press up and down to cycle through them and press a button to select it. Every time a wrong letter is guessed, a portion of the monkey appears. Pick 11 letters incorrectly and your game ends in failure. Guess the word correctly and you get a point. Wow, a whole point. The game has nine game variations. Games one through four are for one player and five through eight are for two players. In games one and five, you have a first through third grade vocabulary. Games 2 and 6 start at 1st grade and go all the way up to 6th grade in vocabulary. Games 3 and 7 start at 1st and go up through ninth grade. And Games 4 and 8 start at 1st grade and go all the way through high school for the vocabulary word possibilities. Game 9 allows one player to create a word for the other to solve. They can also use spaces, creating the possibility of a two-word answer. However, in Hangman, both you and the computer only have six total spaces to work with. Also in Game 9, there is no spell check or sense so it is possible for one player to input a nonsense word or profanity, which I'm sure a lot of kids did when they first got the game. This game variation also requires an honor system of sorts, since it would be pretty easy for the second player to peek at what the other player is inputting. In a one player game, you could pretty much play for as long as you like, with the game keeping track of how many words you guessed correctly and how many times you failed, which the manual says gives a point to the computer when you do. In two player games, the first player to five points wins. Ends. You can also make the game a little more challenging by putting the difficulty switch in the A position, which gives that player a 20 second time limit to guess a letter. In the B position, there is no time limit. Graphically speaking, the game is very basic and blocky looking. The sounds also are limited with a potentially irritating buzzer sound when you guess the wrong letter. However, when you scroll through the letters, it plays notes for the alphabet song, which is a nice touch. Or is it Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Or Baba Black Sheep? Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if released today, especially since they replaced the traditional hanged man with a hanging monkey. However, the rating system goes out the window when you let someone immature create the words. Currently at PriceTrain.com, the standard version of Hangman goes for $6 loose, $7 complete, and $23 new. The Sears spelling version goes for a little bit more, going for $11 loose, $61 complete, and $89 new. So, what do I think of Hangman on the 2600? Well, it's kind of cool that a two-player pen and paper game could be played with a single player, and while it controls well enough and has a decent library of words, the limits of the game holds it back. Using only single words that are not longer than six letters made the game pretty easy for me. I had some fun, but just got bored after a while, and that buzzer sound does the game no favors. The simple truth is that all the many variations of Wheel of Fortune style games that have come out since Hangman have basically made this game borderline obsolete. This is a game I could play now and then, but probably not often. So where am I going to rank Hangman? This game's entertainment value is pretty limited to me, so this one's going to be pretty low. Hanging out in the 170s. I do like the action of Infiltrate more at 177, but I would rather play this than Freeway, a game that some other gamers like a lot more than me, but personally I find kind of boring. So the 207 games are now ranked for the Atari 2600. Hang Monkey is enjoying a banana at the 178 position. Hangman is playable, but its limits really hold it back today but that's just what i think what do you think let me know in the comments below 
Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Check out some of my many other videos and sign up at patreon.com slash gamer, just like Jeremy L did to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day. And I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the No Square Gamer. Take care, especially when inputting words into Hangman for your neighbor who came over to play Atari with you. You never know when your mom's going to walk into the family room.